Dr. Theodore Watkins was a 31-year-old resident physician from Roswell, New Mexico. He regularly went to the gym, ate a plant-based diet, and practiced meditation. In many ways, he was the picture of healthy living. Theo, as his friends and family called him, lived in a two-bedroom apartment with his girlfriend and their dog, Misty. One night, while he was playing with his dog, his alarm rang. He had a night shift in the emergency room. He scratched Misty's belly. Time to go. See you in the morning. The night shift was fairly routine. Some laceration repairs, a gunshot wound, a woman with severe panic attacks, and a mix of other complaints. The clock in the emergency department showed 5.39 a.m. when a nurse announced that there was a 43-year-old male with a sudden onset of chest pain being carted in. Dr. Watkins quickly drank up the rest of his coffee and replied, Bring him in. Through gasps, the patient explained that the pain started abruptly when he got out of bed and that he felt it everywhere, including his back. Within moments, information was flowing in. The blood pressure in one arm was lower compared to the other arm. The ECG was normal, and the lab work had been sent off. The nursing team had also paged the overnight attending physician, Dr. Chapman, and when he called back, the phone was handed to Dr. Watkins. Dr. Chapman, on the phone, said the sleepy voice on the other side. During the next few minutes, Dr. Watkins explained that they have a 43-year-old patient with unusual chest and back pain over the last couple hours, and that there was an irregularity in the interarm blood pressures. He mentioned that the ECG showed no signs of a STEMI. Dr. Chapman seemed a bit more awake and spoke with intensity. All right, listen up, kid. Give him aspirin, clopidogrel, and enoxaparin. I've seen plenty of cases like this. He has an N-STEMI, and I'll see him in the morning. You got it? Dr. Watkins was shocked because Dr. Chapman seemed so certain. Nevertheless, he managed to blurt out some questions. Are you sure we shouldn't consult a vascular surgeon or perhaps get some imaging study? Dr. Chapman angrily responded, I know what I'm doing, and I know my job. Do you know yours? The call ended on that note, and Dr. Watkins hung up and did what the attending physician had told him to do. Over the next few hours, the patient's condition steadily worsened. But Dr. Watkins wasn't willing to get yelled at again, so he stuck to the plan they had put in place. He also hoped that Dr. Chapman would come in soon so that he could take over. Unfortunately, the patient's condition worsened and a code blue was called. The patient died in the emergency room that morning from internal bleeding due to an aortic dissection. A few weeks later, Dr. Watkins received a letter stating that his hospital was being sued and that he was being named specifically because he didn't follow hospital protocols that may have saved the patient's life. The letter specified that he should have consulted a vascular surgeon and obtained imaging more quickly. Dr. Watkins said that he specifically followed the directions he got from his attending physician. But the attending physician, Dr. Chapman, said that Dr. Watkins didn't explain the severity of the patient's condition and that he wasn't kept informed about what was happening in the emergency room. Now, to rewind this back, let's imagine that Dr. Watkins had persisted in expressing his concerns to Dr. Chapman regarding the clinical presentation of the patient, concurrently documenting those concerns. In addition, let's imagine that Dr. Watkins had continued to give continual updates with changes in the patient's clinical condition, it's possible that Dr. Chapman would have agreed to change the plan, but if not, he should have gone up the chain of command. It's very possible that the patient would have been correctly diagnosed and treated sooner, and that he wouldn't have died. The moral. Move up the chain of command, document conversations about critical decisions, and keep lines of communication open. <laughs> 